Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Router 2 Brief. I said I was thinking about getting a blue tang, but I went to a local reef store and I got something else instead. Don't forget to check the video description for the links to things on Amazon that I purchase. All the gear that I use for saltwater aquarium stuff. Got a couple shells for my white thin striped hermit crab. These are larger. He's going to need to move into another shell soon. Dude's getting big. Clownfish. If they will just turn around, you can see their faces. Let's pour these dudes in. This aquarium water, this is an important, important tip for you guys, especially starting out in the hobby. This aquarium water may be contaminated with ick parasite. It's a microscopic parasite. Check out the videos at the end of this video dealing with that. So I'll let these guys swim in another container of fresh water for like 30 seconds. Then I'll put them in another container of fresh water for another 30 seconds. So if there's any ick on their bodies, that'll take care of that. Plus it'll wash all the water, the salt water off of them from the aquarium store that I just got them at. I'll keep these guys in a quarantine separate tank with cupramine. It's copper solution that kills ick. It'll be a mild copper solution. You really only need to dose 50% of what the instructions say on sechum, cecum, cupramine, copper liquid. That is really potent toxic stuff. It can kill your fish by destroying their nervous system. So it's easy to overdose. Yes, they have cupramine or copper tests. You can see how much copper is in your water. It's incredibly hard to tell with a test how much copper is in your water so don't trust that to be safe and i've always had success i dose 50 percent of what the instructions say it's way more than you need to kill ick parasites or marine velvet if there are parasites present in these fish once they come out of their bodies from eating their flesh they're going to be greeted with copper in the water and they're going to die instantly Meanwhile, your other tank is thriving. It's totally safe because there's no ick in it. These guys will be eradicated of, of ick if there's any ick in their system. Then after six weeks, it breaks the cycle. Why six weeks? Because remember, eggs are laid from parasites every 28 days. So as soon as these lay eggs were to hatch in a quarantine tank, if there are parasites, they'll be greeted with copper in the water and they'll die instantly. That breaks the cycle. They're dead. So you wait an extra couple weeks. I do an extra two weeks just to be safe after 28 days that takes care of that <clears throat> that guarantees there's no ick on these fish or in the water then i'll give them a fresh water bath in another container to get the copper solution off their bodies and i will acclimate them to the tank water in the main display tank that's being safe that's what you should do every time reef stores use one filtration for the whole store so if one tank is infected by ick, all the tanks are infected. And that could include corals. Or let's say one of the workers at the store was getting fish all day for customers and he has water on his hands that contain the parasites. Then he puts his hands in the tank with the coral. Well, now the coral water is infected. You buy a coral, you put it right in your tank. That water is not touching your water. That's what I'm talking about. The fish and the coral and the inverts and their shells can simply act as a host or a medium to carry the water from the store into the tank. So the objective is to get all the water off these fish from the store or your inverts or the coral. And the way to do that is to rinse them in fresh water, keep fish in quarantine for at least five weeks with a mild copper solution. Make sure you change the water every other day if your tank isn't cycled because if it's not cycled, there's no bacteria in that quarantine tank and your fish will die of ammonia poisoning that you just bought. Your brand new fish will die. Um, urine is ammonia and their urine will kill them within two days um, because they're constantly going to the bathroom. Um, them breathing in and breathing out, that creates ammonia, minor levels of it, small levels of it, but it's still ammonia. So you need to have bacteria in the water to break down that ammonia and you can do that by either getting rid of the ammonia by doing at least a 50% water change every other day minimum, or you put something from your main tank, like a filter sock or a rock or something with bacteria on it, 
so your fish can you know survive you don't want to have to do water changes every other day i'd highly recommend a cecum ammonia badge that looks like this links to that in the video description too you put that inside the tank and it just changes colors with the levels of ammonia pure yellow means you're free of ammonia and you know those badges are good for a year when you take those badges out make sure your thumb or finger or any part of your hand does not touch that disc in the center or else you won't get true accurate readings for ammonia just a little tip so these guys are cool i'm going to put them in the tank i have five clownfish currently this makes seven um, you should always be careful when you put more than a pair of clownfish in a tank but it's a six foot long 125 gallon tank so they should be fine but i wanted to show you guys these and you'll see them in the main tank in about six weeks